All right, well, you know, I always do like a good driving video of some of my cars that I end up letting go. This one's a lot different than you're probably used to. This is a 1989 Range Rover Classic, short wheelbase. It's lifted, it's got big tires on it. It's got Land Rover Defender wheels. Things just super rad. I mean, obviously we'll do a walk around, but this will just kind of give you an idea of how it drives, the speed, and it's got great torque. It's smooth. As you can see, there's really no vibrations. For being an old truck, and this is definitely is a truck, it's very quiet in here. Uh, I took the kids out yesterday, in her, so that's kind of neat. Seatbelts work good. Got the little armrests and everything. As you can see, it's got the protective roll cage. I guess if you're really doing some serious off-roading, uh, you want you can cut it out. This is definitely a driver car. It's not a fully restored car, but there's no holes in the floor or outside or anything like that. But it's got its dents, dings, and it is full of patina. Sometimes I don't like using that word, but this truck screams patina. It really does because the way it's just worn on the edges from years of being on trails and everything else. And actually, this was a Colorado car. Fairly dry. I mean, there really is not a lot of rust on it. The frame is great. If there was some rust, it would be on the floors that have been patched by now. But yeah, it's got power windows. You know, one touch on the driver's side. Um, the sunroof. I actually undid the, the motor to it because it, it kept hit the pinch protection. So I said, screw it. I'll just plug it. But it doesn't leak. I replaced it with a new Range Rover seal. I had to get that from the UK, but at least it doesn't leak because I ended up spending all this money getting the headliner all redone. I don't know if you can see that, but it's like a dark brown. The seats are a little torn up. That's why I got some sheepskin covers on them. All vented. It's nice and soft. But anyways, I mean, that's just going through all the gears. Did a new master cylinder on it. Bled the brakes a couple of days ago. Seems pretty good. It's actually got a nice firm brake pedal. But you know, they used uh, just solid disc in the front. They're not vented or anything like that. So you could probably upgrade the brakes on it. Get some really decent braking power. It's got a V8 in it, but it is all aluminum V8. So it's actually fairly light, 3.9 liter. Now, I will tell you that this thing never overheats. Always starts right up. I do have a, a battery disconnect on it, which I do tend to do to a lot of older cars. Sometimes they will have a draw, or after they sit for a long time, it's just a way of like you know, keeping the battery preserved. But it does have a new battery. A couple of months ago, I threw a battery at it. But I haven't been able to disconnect the battery. It just always starts, even when it's like 12 degrees out like it was the other day. I did a heater core on this. That was kind of the main reason I got the truck. It was those rear trailing arms needed to be replaced. So I did that and the heater core. It's got period correct Kenwood cassette player that I put in it and Kenwood speakers all around. Just got to merge onto the, across the highway here. All right, well that gives you an idea. Like I said, this is a truck. Um, I used to get the question more often and if you seen some of my older videos and be like well Chris can I drive this car to California well, anything's possible but I get what you're saying is there anything that's gonna happen do all the lights work the blinkers the brake lights the brakes does it shift does it it does all of those things and because it's got the V8 you can actually drive it on the highway fairly decency and keep up with traffic unlike some of the older Land Rovers and the series trucks the diesel sometimes can be a little slow this one's not even bad on gas, and I had a Land Rover Discovery that I'll admit was pretty bad on gas. There must have been something wrong with it, but this thing does wonderful. I know you don't hear wonderful gas mileage with Range Rover Classic. Take that with a grain of salt, but it really does do very well. Never gets above middle in the coolant. The speedometer is not working right now. That's probably the only issue. So the odometer and the speedometer, they're not spinning. I looked at the cable, the cable seems fine. I'll look online seeing if I can find another gauge cluster. I believe the Land Rover Discoveries are the same, something like that. 
maybe I'm wrong, but um, other than that, everything else works. So you get a fairly decent truck. It's got a lot of style. It's really fun and could really be brought to the next level. Anyways, I'm going to show you the rest of the vehicle, walk around. This just gives you an idea as I'm taking these country roads. See? We'll do one more walk around. This time it's indoor. Just took it for about a mile drive. cool these things are pretty base short wheel base and you can see you're pretty much sitting on top of the tire back there I mean I prefer the short wheel base ones but that's just personal preference depends what you're using it for Uh, I had these done at the same upholstery shop too. We took those off, had them redone. I mean, I obviously I get the question of like, well, what would it need to be, you know, I don't know, perfect or all together. I'd say right now, I'd say right now one of these hatches would be nice. I think they were about 800 bucks last time I checked. Obviously that would just bolt on. That's a little sticky, but yeah, you can see here. I mean, whether you want to run them with these things in place or not, I don't know. Gas door's been removed. Tires are in like new condition too, by the way. The paint on the wheels are really nice. I don't know if they were powder coated or just automotive painted. Uh, they definitely weren't done with like a spray can or anything like that. They actually came off a very, very nice Land Rover Defender. I don't agree with the guy for selling them and he put some sort of 20 inch something on it off a newer one, but lucky for me, I get them. This panel's pretty dented in. Like I was saying in the earlier videos, it is aluminum, so they dent. All the glass is in good shape. All the rubber molding, all that stuff. I don't know, I mean, it depends. Like if you want like a really cool weekend trail camping vehicle with cold AC, hot heat, doesn't overheat, and can drive on the highway and can tow cool stuff, then this is the truck for you. If you're looking for a showpiece for under 10 grand, uh, I don't think you'll ever find that. These things are just going crazy in price right now, but I priced this one to sell. I'd love, love, love to keep it, but I got a lot of cars. As you see, there's my 914. Anyways, I got a lot of stuff. Um, the power seats do work, but the leather is dry and cracking, hence why they have sheepskin on do you want to see them well let's go see if i can lift a corner up uh, the floor i don't know yeah you can see the bolsters i believe the backs yeah the back and was pretty good but these bottoms you know whatever so we just stuff that there some sheepskins keep you warm
the clock works too. Um, the horn, the turn signals, headlights, high beams, tachometer, coolant gauge, fuel gauge, all of that works, including the check engine light does work because it was on, it had a misfire a couple of weeks ago and I did a tune up on it and the check engine light turns off, so that's kind of neat. Uh, this is the roll cage. The guy that built its decal is on the front of it there. Anyways, uh, every once in a while, you'll bump your head getting in. So I don't know if you want to pad that, or if you're 6'2", like me, you might. Anyways, it's that. TF or tfabcustoms.com, something like that. All right. but let me go ahead and just start it for you. Oh, I don't want that to play. YouTube does not like when music plays. So, your speedometer and odometer doesn't work. The cable seems to be spinning, but I haven't inspected inside here yet. If I have more time, I will. Other than that, your tack works, coolant gauge, and fuel gauge. Uh, your coolant gauge, your temperature, That'll come up to the middle and just stay there. Let's go ahead. You can hear the V8. This pad obviously is trash, but we'll leave it on. 